Hello. So I was uh, thinking this week, and, and I was sad this week. I was sad. Um, there's just a lot going on. A lot. And I was sad about it. Um, I miss people. I miss being able to go up and give people hugs. I miss being able to have a conversation where I'm not standing way back away from somebody. This is a rough time. And it's okay to be sad. I was reminded this week that uh, good news becomes great news when the bad news comes first. In John chapter 16, verses 20 through 22, Jesus was talking to his disciples and kind of giving them a heads up about the crucifixion and what was going to come. And he knew that when that happened, they would be sad. So he told them this. He said, truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for the joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you. See, Jesus knew that we would have sadness. He knew that his disciples would be sad when he was, uh, when he was apart from them. But he also knew he was coming back. And that's something that can fill our hearts with joy. So with all that's going on, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to have times when you just need to cry. I get it. But we need to keep it in our minds that we have a Savior that's going to come back. And he's going to correct this broken world and set everything right again. Keep that in your minds this week. Father God, we are grateful for your love, for your patience, for your kindness. All the fruit of the Spirit that you have shown us through your actions. And Lord, help us remember you're coming back. Help us also remember that you are God and we are not. It's through Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right. Take care.